protest is getting underway in Allentown. It follows video that surfaced showing a police officer there kneeling on the neck of a man. It's video that has sparked a firestorm. And Joe Holden is in Allentown with the protest route. Joe? Yuki, Jess, we are right on Hamilton Street. Traffic seems to have slowed a little bit here, indicating that perhaps they are closing the street ahead of where we are standing. We can take you up to Chopper 3, give you a bird's eye view. Somewhat conservative in size at the moment. Our control room guiding me here, telling me maybe about two dozen people there near the War Memorial, which is on the island in the middle of Hamilton. Street. They have moved to the street now and are expected to march down this way where we're standing. We are right at the Lehigh County Courthouse, just shy of City Hall. They have a message for city leaders. They are urging transparency as these protesters claim the eyes of the country now fixed on the city of Allentown. Protests are expected at any moment. Demonstrators will march to Allentown City Hall and the police department condemning the interaction seen in video between city police and a man the department says had yelled and spit on officers and was noncompliant. An unidentified officer is seen placing his knee on the man's neck and head. City council members say the tactic is an outright violation of the department's use of force policy. A document that was just released before this happened outside a hospital ER. Pretty clear cut that um, page six in the policy manual states that neck restraints and choke holds are not to be used unless you feel like your life is at risk. So if the officer felt like his life was at risk by someone spitting at him, Okay, um, but to me, someone spitting at you is not putting your life at risk. Allentown Mayor Ray O'Connell would not talk with Eyewitness News on Monday. The Allentown Police Department declined to answer further questions about the incident that as of now has ignited outrage among members of the public and other elected leaders. This evening's demonstration, organized by Black Lives Matter to Lehigh Valley, is expected to direct criticism at the city's perceived slow response to release all available video and angles of the altercation. In the light of George Floyd and just everything that the nation's been through in the last two months, you, you just think that uh, as a police department and, and, and as officers, you'd be a little more conscientious and, 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 and cognizant of the fact that your actions are even under higher scrutiny than usual. And, and to just to believe that was an option to, to neglect and ignore the use of force policy so just brazenly as the eyes of the world are upon us, I just, it's, it's hard for me to form words. And we're back live, Chopper 3, over this protest here right now in the city of Allentown, right in the heart of the city here in the Lehigh Valley. About three dozen people, again, mostly sticking to that median there that is home to the city's war memorial. Again, this is supposed to kick off, supposed to start at 5 o'clock and move its way right down Hamilton Street. Let's take you to the ground now. I'll give you a shot from where I'm standing right now. Uh, if we can, just to give you the, uh, the vantage point, they're coming down this way. City Hall's behind our camera. And then at some point, they're going to flip-flop and head to the police department again with a similar message. Now, some city council members have told CBS3 that it is their intent to continue to put the pressure on the city to give people the full picture of what is going on and what happened here on Saturday night. Again, the man seen in that video was apparently treated and then released, never arrested. We're keeping our eyes on this right now. We'll be back when things develop with a report at 6. For now, live in Allentown, this is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you.